first go in there, so I can answer all you folks who commented and emailed. Oops, Mr. Postman. And now that that's done, into the spaces. Passing through Gunpowder Falls State Park, as we usually do on the US-1 northbound. But very crowded right now, think it's almost 80 degrees out there, if not hotter. You know when they're parked on the road, the parking lots are all full. See so your frog ain't getting out back there. A line of cars almost half a mile from the park, from the middle of the park. Oh well. Best to come on a weekday. Today's Saturday. Now, no off of Route 1. I know what I can do. Maybe try some real fanning. Up here, the CSX Philadelphia subdivision, aka the Philly sub. But it may be a bit of a long wait here on the weekend. So, for the time being, go to plan B. Maybe try a spot on the Amtrak Northeast Corridor and come back to CSX later if there's time. Getting nice out there, the temps in the mid 80s. And the trees are budding out little by little. Finally getting warm here in the mid Atlantic, finally. And now here in Edgewood, obviously, I'm already getting lucky. You see, Amtrak isn't like CSX. They don't keep you waiting. Heading west on one of the previous routes from Baltimore to Philadelphia. Now, of course, going in the direction of Baltimore, Philly being behind me, about 100 miles, maybe 80 miles, whatever. But as I said, finally warming up here in the mid Atlantic. Temps in the 80s right now, but dropping a bit. About 5.45 p.m. But now on a different road. And again approaching CSX. Have a quick look-see. Yeah, why not? Let's check out the block signals. Oh, new satellite dish. Let's watch TV. Apparently they installed some new relay boxes there. But those block signals are off at the moment. So I'm not sure how long it'll be for a train. I'll never caught them here many times. Watch the BA train now as I'm pulling out. Nope, I turned and looked, didn't see one. And over there, a retro diner. One of the many they, that popped up the past 20 years, as folks tend to go retro. And a road hadn't been on in a couple of years, probably. But the spring color is finally manifesting itself. It's been a while. It's somewhat of a pleasant drive over this route. A little bit of the commercial areas back by the highway. And more
more spring stuff. Well, it's about time. I'm now arriving in Chase, Maryland. You may recall that back in 87, there's a bad Amtrak accident here where 16 people died. We're about to pass over the spot where that occurred. Of course, we'll pass over a bridge. The spot's going to be out of sight. But it occurred up here to the northeast, to the left, a couple of miles. Well, about a mile, actually. And I think beneath this bridge here. Up to the left, about a mile is where the bad accident occurred. Like in 87, I believe. Or was it 86? And now westbound on Eastern Avenue, which goes all the way into downtown Baltimore. Another 10 miles, maybe. We're not going quite that far, though. We're keeping it suburban. Up ahead, we pass beneath a branch line running from the Amtrak Northeast Corridor to a power plant up by the Chesapeake Bay, which means to our left about three or four miles. Hopefully it's still used. And up around the bend, when the last few drivers left in America, the Benjis. And there's what's playing. Can't tell if it's any anything good though. Oh, Jumanji, that's old. That goes back to the 90s. And I'm able to get that because I'm in a bad backup again here at this light. But don't know why the hold up though. Leaving the cars coming out of that street there. We're having trouble making that turn. The light's green. Let's see if I make any progress. Still these days, drive-in theaters are rare. I think that this one may be 10 more in the country and that's about it. There's a screen there over the trees. But we're still jamming here. Kinda, sorta. Any movie there anybody want to see? Pick your flick. Hand rolling again. On our way. Accident back there with the traffic light is what it was. Look called by drive-ins these days. In the old days, you'd put a speaker to your car window, plug it in to the socket there on the pole. But now they have FM sound to use your radio for. Stereo. Haven't tried it yet, though. Nothing playing I want to see. But look at the backup going the other way. A longer one than the one we were in. Several times longer. How far does it go? All the way back to Martin Airport. I don't know what they were in for. Like our last day out of sea, coming back from that, there was a backup due to an accident in Pennsylvania. And over here, one final rail vanning spot. As long as I'm in the area, I may as well use it. Just got here. I'm just trying to get the attention of the employee over there. Locomotive there, just detached, way in the background there. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, make time with the guy. All right. But anyway, here we are. 
Martin Airport commuter station. Read and heed. And over here, the newly remodeled station. A new set of steps there anyway. Let's go and have a look. All right, let me in. Wait a minute, Dolly just used the bathroom and said the door was unlocked. Now what happened? I can't get in. What is going on? Hold on. See if her luck is any better. She claims she went in the first time. Yeah, she got to go to the bathroom, but I didn't. Oh well. For some reason, everything is locked up now. So back to the track. But, here's the reason we're here. Okay, here comes our finale. Well... Better than leaving here empty-handed. We had our fun. Now to get back to our part of the world. And there's the farthest of the tunnels. We're not going that way, though. It's a buck 19 for the express lanes on I-95. A buck 19, how about even dollar 20 or dollar 15? How they arrive at an odd figure like a dollar 19? I'll never understand. Okay, time to head south. We're now heading south on I-95, which is our version of I-5. Oddly enough, despite the great day, no much traffic on I-95 today. Of course, here we departed in favor of something called 695. I'm surprised, not much over there. And the express lanes were almost empty. Nobody feels like paying $1.19, an oddball figure there. How do they arrive at that? Not both things, like a dollar nineteen. I don't know. And now back on surface streets, as they're called. Although I thought all streets had surfaces, so I don't know where the term came from. But anyway. Back in the hood, with house repair going on in the distance, in case you heard that noise. Couldn't park in front of my house at the moment. Someone else is here. I guess better look, look under those handicap signs, huh? Well, if folks need a sign to tell them to respect handicapped people, what can your bullfrog say? But again, thanks for coming along. And the privilege of your time. I'm sorry I couldn't take you further out, but there'll be other times. Alrighty. I'll check you out again. Thanks for viewing. And our theme playing in the background. <laughs>